not having a clear vision, I think, is really challenging. If you if you don't have a clear vision that's really focused and you can articulate that well and you can back that up with a solid financial plan and a strong product market fit that's well demonstrated through your history, that's going to be a that's going to be a huge huge challenge um, in in raising capital. You, you need to show and be passionate, obviously, about your vision, but then have the financial plan and the traction, the historical traction to 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 demonstrate that you're able to to achieve some of those things that you set out to do. Growing it, funding is one piece, but then actually getting clients and growing the customer base, that is one of the biggest uh, first pieces you have to tackle. Any insights or or, uh, takeaways you can share of, whether it's getting the first couple clients on a SaaS type platform and then scaling beyond the first few? We focus very much on landing marquee clients as our first our first client landing reasonable brands out there and we invested a lot of time and energy from the founders to the product team and actually getting to those brands making sure that we understood their requirements and we were able to fulfill those those requirements um, we did that very early on because we we knew once we landed the marquee brands if if other companies could see that we were successful in a big organization that trusted us, that we had we had proven ourselves, then scaling further was uh, would be easier. And, and that certainly worked well. We invested a ton of time in the first, I'd say, three customers that we landed. We were fortunate to land Vodafone in the UK as one of our, our very first uh, customers. They're still a customer today, which is amazing. Um, but really, they helped us to shape the product understand the space and then we could use that brand and that experience to then move to a few others develop the case studies there and start to scale